Hello, everybody. Welcome to IPL 5 Shoot Mania Finals at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. Give a cheer for our two teams. We've got Fnatic Raid Call. They have not dropped a game. Look at Yip waving around, all flailing around. All right, and <laughs> we've got Colwyn over on the other side. They have won Group A. They defeated, uh, was it Planet Express, actually, the first match? 3-0 yes. to get to the finals here. It feels like it was so long ago. Yeah, uh, the semifinals was. this morning, but we are here at the finals now. I'm Ask Joshi hanging out with Alex Goldenboy, FTW Mendez. How do you feel right now? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm pumped for the finals. You know, it's been a long, long weekend here at the IGN Pro League, but uh, um, I'm stoked, man. This is great. Uh, there's a lot of hype building up to it. You know, the, the chat's getting into it. The, you know, the, the crowd is getting into it. That's what you want. You know, you want to be able to create that uh, <laughs> atmosphere for the game, and hopefully people enjoy the performance these two teams are going to show us today. That's right. So let's uh, just recap a little bit of how these two teams got here. Fnatic Raid Call actually got second place in both of our online qualifiers for Europe. Uh, a month and a half, two months ago. They actually got eliminated in the finals, did not earn a free trip, but they paid their own way. Fnatic picked them up uh, just a couple of weeks before the event and said, we'll pay your bills. Go to, go to Las Vegas and, and try win. to win a tournament. So uh, Fnatic, they did not take that opportunity lightly. They came in here on the wild card qualifier on a Friday night and went through all of the opposition without dropping a single game. Team Dignitas was there in the finals for that one, and they showed a valiant effort, but Fnatic proved to be just too much. The uh, defensive capabilities of Strengths, Lakeam, and Yippie. Yippie's awesome laser. Strengths coming up clutch. Lakeam coming up clutch. For all certain. of them. Yep have just dominated throughout this tournament. We had group play yesterday, Group A, Colwyn emerged victorious over SK Gaming, Epsilon, and Spin Move. And in Fnatic's uh, group, that was Group B, we had TCM Gaming, Complexity, and Planet Express. Fnatic bopped all of them, and now they, hear, uh, now they are here in the finals against Colwyn. Yep, and this is it. This is what it all comes down to, folks. $30,000 on the line for first place. That's a lot of money to be playing for here, and these two teams know what's at stake. They represent Representing their, you know, they're representing Europe, you know, because we do not have a North American team in the finals. But this is actually an ESWC rematch where we actually saw Team e uh, Eclipsia, mm -hmm. uh, now known as Fnatic RC. They faced off against Cohen and lost in the finals, so they want revenge. You know they want yeah, to rectify course. that one and uh, take home the big <laughs> prize here. So this is going to be a big win here for Fnatic RC. And they're playing at the top of their game, to be honest with you. They're, they're stopping everyone. I mean, even then, you know, you have to look at it like this. Cohen dropped a game to, you know, SK, mm -hmm. um, and that's something to, you know, take into consideration. Fnatic's undefeated throughout yeah. this entire thing. Fnatic just thrashed SK, too. So Yeah, it's and <laughs> they just dominated SK yeah. as well. So, uh, But, of course, that was a hard-fought battle, and I do want to give a shout Shout out to our two teams, the third, fourth place uh, winners, uh, SK Gaming as well as Planet Express because I tell you, I became a Planet Express fan after this event. Uh, you know, Tailspin is a beast. So yeah. I just want to throw that one out there. But let's focus on the players at hand. We're going to have Fnatic Raid Call and the guys from Colwyn. Of course, uh, lots of lots of uh, energy being uh, thrown around the yeah. room here. We got a full house, and uh, we're telling the players already. So uh, let's go ahead and hop into the action here, um, as uh, the t the teams should be readying up. I believe uh, we're waiting on Fnatic yep. Raid Call to actually ready up, and then we'll be able to jump into this one. Um, but uh, we're very close, and I'm really excited. So yeah, this is, this gonna, is be gonna, awesome. gonna be an epic series. I can't believe we've got uh, both group winners here actually ended up in the finals. There's no guarantee of that happening. They just yeah. have con continued to uh, defeat the opposition without much. Uh, you know, problem 3 0 3 0. We had two semifinals yep. over in just a, a matter of hours. And uh, as soon as these players are ready to go, we'll begin. The first map is going to be Castle Crasher. Castle this Crasher. is a best of five series, actually. So, uh, you know, whoever takes the first game does not necessarily mean that they're going to be winning. There's a, yeah. a lot of games to be played, and the first map was just randomly chosen. So, you know, neither of these teams may be very comfortable on the map. We're not sure. But uh, it's going to be loser's pick, actually. Whoever loses here on Castle Crasher will pick the second map, and so on and so on. And it looks like we are finally ready to begin. Fnatic, you can give it here, everybody. We've got Yeepy attacking first for Fnatic Raid Call. All right, here we go now. Uh, of course, taking a look at the overhead, we're going to jump right into the action underway here as uh, Yeep, you know, he is a fantastic attacker. He has a great shot there. Knowing that there's going to be one defender over there on the left side, he needs to be careful with that. Now, if anyone here is just joining us for the first time, Shoe Mania is played in a very simple way. It is a 1v3 where the attacker, who's Yeep in this instance, has two uh, armor there. You saw he actually just lost one, and he has an instigib laser. So if you guys are familiar with games like UT, Quake, where they have instigib game types, you are uh, familiar 
familiar with the laser and what it does here in Shumania. While the defenders, there are three defenders. They have one armor each. As soon as they get oh. shot, just like you saw right there, Sturmy gets taken out. And that is going to be a good example of what I'm talking about here, as there's going to be two defenders now. But wait a minute, though. The situation is actually going to turn in the favor of oh, the guys from nice Colwyn as they manage to take out Yeep. Nice stuff indeed. And guys, we also have two great players across the side here. We have Strengths, a, uh, a current Quake pro, as well as Sturmy, a Quake legend. So you got to keep that in mind. These are two very talented uh, competitors, and their teams are no slouches because AKM oh. was actually the Shoot Mania Esports MVP for ESWC, and he needs another performance like that here today. That's right. Colin took down that entire tournament uh, only about a month ago, and AKM was the MVP. Today, actually, wins has been claiming lives of uh, SK Gaming players in the yeah. semifinals. He had multiple successful attacking rounds. Strengths has been a beast on defense so far today, and AKM looking to get started on the right foot for Colin. They already had that one successful defensive round against Yeep, who is, you know, the lead off attacker. He's the guy the Fnatic trusts the most to get those attacking rounds in. So uh, off to a great start already. AKM looping around the side. Ooh. He is going to catch a rocket from Strengths. Strengths very uh, versatile here on defense. He likes to hop up on that pad, back down into the grass, try to get some lasers here and there, and check that out. Uh, Strengths actually nailing AKM from behind, and that's a quick three defensive rockets for Strengths. I was just talking about how he's a defensive beast earlier this morning. Yeah, you know, he is playing. He's going to play at the top of his game. He has been on fire in this entire tournament while Yeep has been coming up clutch with those attack round wins which has been so vital you cannot sleep on strengths who has pretty much been the guy that has uh, I wouldn't say put the team on his back but he has been so consistent on offense and defense and let's see if he brings that same consistency once again as he misses that laser up top there is going to be some activity going on over by the laser pad there now you're wondering why do the defenders have that ability to uh, to, to shoot a laser but that's because he gets on that laser pad there and he is able to do so that's only only way he's able to do that but nice shot there as AKM goes down and Strengths though with the stop and we're gonna have 13 seconds on the clock here as Strengths is gonna make his way around not finding anyone by the laser pad he's gonna find one defender right in front of him not able to hit with that as well lots of activity going down over here in the grass pit I do not think he's gonna be able to have a clear shot there two seconds until the goal becomes live now he has the option to take out the two players or cap the goal he has three health here he oh. does manage to actually take one out can he nail the next shot yes he there does he as Strengths wow. clutches it nicely two to one is the score great attack round win for Strengths for Fnatic RC yeah Fnatic raid call already up two to one. That successful attacking round is going to be the most important round so far. It's more or less assumed in Shoot Mania Elite that the defenders are going to be the ones holding down the goal. They're going to, you know, actually win more often than the attackers. The attackers have a lot more pressure. It's just one person, even though they do have that instant kill laser. And there is a super oh, wow. long shot, 65 meters already to defeat Lakam. There's two more defenders left. You can see in the top right, uh, the defenders that are still in there are uh, highlighted still. Strengths and Yippee still standing while wins the lone attacker up here in the top left you can tell that wow. he is on a roll right now he's taking out two defenders just one left it's going to be yp he's looping back to the goal but wins this is, is not good and the goal wins easily takes a shot and that's call wins point tying up the attacking rounds now one to one you know i tell you this much the worst thing to happen is to get an attacking round and then the other team answer right back with one of their own that's a very tough uh situation for fanatic rc to be in but now it's going to be lakame up to bat here for fanatic great call he will be the uh third attacker here as the strengths and ep already took their opportunities to attack and there is strategy to the order that you're picking folks because you want to have that leadoff attacker be the guy that's going to win the round right away which ep unfortunately didn't do but your second attacker would usually either be an equally assured strong attacker to the first or he's kind of just like that guy who you can rely on those uh, in those clutch situations which is exactly what strengths did there like him on the other hand he still has a very good laser so knowing that all three players of this team have a good laser now it's just hey who wants to attack first and who wants to attack third but like came here is going to be backed into a corner there's going to be a lot of activity going on here rockets flying all over the place nice finding shot. one at the bottom there akm is going to go down we're going to see as uh, like came here might be able to line up oh. another but he cannot nail it as the activity is going to be going down oh my oh, god he might open. be able to cap it yes he does and Fnatic Another Raid one. Call is looking so good right now. You can see the polls increasing in their favor at 63% right now. So that's pretty interesting. You can go to IGN.com or you can even use the app on the iPhone or iPad to uh, vote and see who you want to win, uh, who you think is going to win the matchup. So uh, cool stuff indeed by our engineering squad here. Hard workers and a Sturmy on the attack for Colwyn. Let's see what he could do. Uh, yeah, so we've got two uh, successful attacking rounds for Fnatic already. Wins had just a, a great run for Colwyn. But uh, that is going to put 
Fnatic up in the series. Essentially, you see the score is 3-2. to two. It's the attacking rounds that are the difference there. Sturmy down to just one armor already. Uh, Strengths and Lakeam still standing. It's going to be one armor against two defenders. Oh, that's Strengths rushing down Sturmy. And Fnatic wins that round as well. Strengths with the most defensive rockets on his team there for, uh, you know, for... Uh, fanatic fanatic raid, call. raid call, yes. Uh, so next up, we've got Yip. It is the leadoff attacker once more for Fnatic Raid Call. We saw him as the leadoff attacker. He was the very first one here on Castle Crasher. He's going to try and uh, you know make up for uh, actually you know not being successful earlier on. Both of his teammates have gotten successful attack rounds since then. He's going to try to make it a trifecta, give everyone that nice attacking round, and build that lead for Fnatic even further. Yeah, that is uh, one thing to take away from this for Yip is that he has teammates who can come up clutch and help him out when needed. But, you know, the one thing Yip has to worry about here is AKM behind him, you know, playing that fence. As soon as the, uh, you know, the, the spawns happen and everyone comes out, AKM makes his way over to the fence and creates that enough oh. pressure. But now as a uh, nice shot there by Yip, he takes out wins. He needs to be careful here as he could he could possibly get oh. flanked or he could actually find someone on the right side. So now Yipi needs to make something happen here. Going inside of the goal, he's going to have one armor. Oh he my god, he almost 69%. capped it. 69%. A couple more uh, milliseconds there and he could have ended up capping it. Actually takes around a second and a half for you to cap that goal. So that was a very close one there indeed. And uh, Yipi seemed to have some good footing on there, but not enough to get that round win. AKM on the attack here for his team. Let's see what he could do now. He has no attack round wins either. Okay, so AKM, right now he's got two ways to win the round for Colin. He can either eliminate all three defenders, you know, laser, 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 get them all eliminated, or when the timer ticks down, right now it's at 28 seconds, but when it ticks down to zero, you get another 15 second timer that'll start flashing red. That's oh, when that wow. goal is actually open, and AKM lands a sweet shot there on Yippee. He's got uh, only two defenders left to deal with, so he can either eliminate either of them, actually both of them, or get to the goal when it hits zero and stand on it. That's what happened, or at least uh, what tried to happen last time. He stood on the goal, but only got 60% of it. You actually need all 100% to capture Great it. That's a second shot. shot from AKM. Only one defender, but AKM only has one armor, so the next shot will win. Whether it's a rocket from Lacame or a laser from AKM, this round will be over soon. The time is ticking down. He's only got five more seconds to capture the goal. He's going to go for the laser, and no! Lacame actually shuts him down. That's another point for Fnatic Raid Call. Nice stuff there. Great defense. You can see the movement there by Lacame. He needed to play that one good, and and so that's something that he's known to do is uh, just play some pretty uh, consistent defense. Granted, though, he did get that attack round win, and that was his only stop. But if you want to have a stop, that should be it. As Shrink's now going to be attacking, let's see what he could do. As uh, granted, this is going to be a tough battle here, but they are in the lead 5-3. to three. You know, with that one attack round win, if they could have that lead even more to three round wins, that would be insane on the attacking side. Oh, oh, oh. nice shot there. Strengths came out of the rabbit hole, taking out AKM. Good work there. <laughs> but you have to take into consideration that the team has rotated at this point. There is going to be one guy over by the laser pad, and you can see him actually drop down. Strengths actually saw this as well, but he does get picked with a rocket by wins, and he's going to have two armor left with 11 seconds on the clock. Oh, missing that easy shot there on, on wins, and the rockets are flying everywhere here. He is able to dodge it, and it's Seems like with three seconds left oh. on the clock, he's able to nail that shot there on wins, making his way over to the goalpost. He might be able to pad this lead a little bit more, and he's in the wide open on the left side, but oh, he corners him. Oh, no, and nice Ouch. defense there by Sturmy, stopping strengths as he made a misstep into the corner, thinking that he was going to nail that shot there, but he could not. And now it's going to be wins from Colwyn on the attack. Good stuff indeed by both teams, but uh, wow, some superior defense we're seeing today, and this is coming down to the wire. You can see these attack rounds here. There are two in the column for Fnatic RC. There's only one for for Colwyn, that is going to be the map decider. Basically, at this point, if both teams just continually defend, 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 if there are no more attacking rounds, then Fnatic will eventually hit nine first and win the map with a score of nine to seven. So uh, it's totally on Colwyn at this point to try and make something happen on attack. Wins really wants to be the one to uh, bring this game back to an even keel for Colwyn. Fnatic RC, again, we, we've told you earlier, they have not lost a single game yet, and they are on pace to win this one as well, unless Wins can continue shooting lasers at these defenders. Let's see, he's already got EP Strengths, and Lecame are still standing. Strengths back, uh, back at the goal already. I'm not sure where Lecame is. He's probably going to loop around at the last possible moment, but Wins needs to land a couple of lasers or hop on that goal in the next 10 seconds. What is he going to try to do? He does land oh. one laser, and one more laser would do it. Six this more seconds to cap the goal. He's going to stand on the goal, and he gets it. 
ties it up there. Colwyn tying it up 5-5. You can see now it's two attack rounds for both teams. That was a great run there. And, you know, when you have those three armor and it's a 1v1 situation, there is no reason why you shouldn't win it because that defender has to land three rockets on you. And you just need to stand on that goalpost for a second. Granted, though, they did win that. And that was a good look there. We are at a tied game once again. Lakame now on the attack. He did kind of get things cooking uh, with his attack round win. Let's see what he could do here. Yeah, as he loops around, he's still trying to spot some defenders. I see a few rockets headed his way. There is the spotter back there. And so the reason the game wasn't taking shots at him, uh, you can see those fence textures that you run past in the beginning. You can't actually shoot through those. Lasers will just hit them and bounce off. Nothing happens. So uh, that just provides defenders a place to spot from safely. They can't fire rockets out of there either. So you still have to you know, use it as if it was a wall. But Lakame catching two rockets to the face right there from Sturmy. Sturmy really wants to land that third one. He actually manages to dodge, and he does. And he land the does. Third one. So Lakame does get eliminated. That's another point on the board for Colwyn. Uh, we are entering a sort of defensive stalemate right now. Two attacking rounds on each side of the field. So Fnatic with two wins by himself getting two. We do need a successful attacking round from either team to break this sort of a stalemate. You must win by two in a Shoot Mania Elite. Yeah, well, I tell you what, if there is a player to do it, it would be Sturmy, as he is considered one of the best Quake players to have ever played the game. One, a very talented Shoot Mania player as well, making this Colwyn squad, but he is going to get picked once, though, by Strengths as, oh, oh, nice double tap there by Yep to end that run. Sturmy had no idea what was coming as he got flanked from that right side and got taken out. Now it's going to be Yep after he had that great double tap. He's actually sitting right now at six defensive rockets, landed with one attack round win, so he's playing really good. Now it's going to be up to him here, and uh, let's see what Yep could do there. People always say that's why you let Yep go first. He's a great <laughs> attacker. He knows what needs to be done, and uh, Yep just trying to get the lay of the land here, seeing where, where he needs to be. Of course, you see that spotter in the back, and that guy's going to create quite a ruckus. Oh. And look at this as Wins actually picks one off on Yep from behind. <laughs> he did that from the laser pad over on the other side on defense, so great play there by Wins, Whoa. and he has to be careful here, Yep, or else uh, this defender will creep up on him and somehow manage to be able to make this into a bad run. But whoa, we are going to see some activity going down here as rockets are flying everywhere. Yep manages to avoid. Laser being thrown down, no connection there. And you can see he's still worried about that the back <laughs> defender because he creates quite a problem. And now the goal is oh, going to become man. live. Great, great coordination there on the rockets for Yep. Good aim as uh, he stopped him with the one two punch to end that one. Seven to six. AKM on the attack. And let's see what he can do. No attack round wins here for AKM, which is very uncharacteristic of him in this uh, in this game or even just of him as a, as a person. You know, he's a very <laughs> talented attacker, which is quite shocking. All right, so Wins actually got both of those last two rockets for Colin. Great placement on those. And I, I want to say these, uh, oh man, already catching a rocket from Lakame, uh, AKM off to a bad start. But those cages on either side, Ooh. wow, another one from Lakame across the yard. Uh, those cages on the left and right when you're attacking in, they're just traps. You've they got, really are. You've got a visible defender. You can't leave him alone. It's like human nature to run over there and make sure they're not, you know, doing anything weird. Oh, great shot for making. Did not expect that. Catching up a little bit. Oh, there's a defender oh, behind him. Snapshot. Oh, my God. That was a slick move right there for AKM. Only one defender left. It's Lakeem, but the next shot does win. Whether it's a rocket or a laser, the goal is going to be open. In just one more second, AKM needs to decide what he's going to do. Wow. He's just going to shoot Lakeem straight up in cold blood. That was a great attacking round there from AKM, and the score is now 8-6. to six. That that means it is map point. Strengths is attacking right now for Fnatic. If he cannot do it, then Colwyn will get the defensive point and the map will be over with a score of nine to six. It's all on Strengths right now for game number one. And this will actually be the first loss for Fnatic RC in this entire tournament if they go down to Colwyn here. So obviously Colwyn has a lot of work to put up here, but uh, Strengths knowing that he has a, uh, he's in a bad spot. That defender in the back is creating quite an issue for him. And uh, lasers, lasers being exchanged up <laughs> top. Strengths needs to be careful as uh, Strengths dipping around here needs to get this one guy on top of the laser pad. Tries to go for another shot, but he cannot connect. Going for a third, oh, and he man. is actually in a stale, he's in a still position. But now you're going to see here as the defender trying to get some, uh, give some slick movement acam managing to get out of that one and the question is where is the laser pad uh the laser pad defender he could actually still be there um but oh pressure over there by oh. akm now nah, he's gonna have one armor left this could be fanatic great calls first loss as the goal cannot be captured and he there gets taken out colwyn finally takes a game there and fanatic raid call will finally go down to their first game. That is absolutely insane. I mean, I did not expect that, especially for game number one, but Fnatic Ray Call is looking really good, but 
Colwyn, even better. Yeah, so if that was that was history just now. That was the first map that uh, Fnatic Raid Calls lost in our yeah. tournament. And, uh, you know, I was kind of hoping that they would have a totally flawless, undefeated run. That would be a really, really cool, cool story if uh, Fnatic went all the way through the wildcard qualifier, flying out here on their own dime. They were actually the only team in group play that didn't get a free trip out here. So, you know, they took a big gamble, and I mean, that's appropriate for Vegas. So uh, <laughs> they're they're winning the gamble right now, but Colwyn, uh, you know, they're they're the mean dealer that uh, rolls zero on roulette or, or busts you on blackjack. That's, that's Colwyn right now. They're playing the spoiler, and they are up 1-0. So, uh, crowd, how'd you enjoy that first game? Awesome. All, All right. right. So we're going to head into a short break right now, and game two will be up on the other side.